Sup fam, it's me, Andre Taylor, and today I want to talk to y'all about Frank Ocean's Chanel. Now, Frank Ocean Chanel is one of the greatest songs I have heard in this generation, and y'all may think I think that about every Frank Ocean song, and I, I, I do. But there's so much greatness in this song, for example, the fact that it kind of is the bisexual anthem with sing both sides like Chanel. You just like sing both sides of the spectrum men, women. I mean, there's more of a spectrum than that, but if we're just talking, Frank Ocean also starts the verse with my guy pretty like a girl, which really shows that like it's his very first time other than in good guy really putting out like his love for a man or a guy or whatever and he really talks a lot about you know himself and him growing and his love for this guy and his love for women as well as well as his love for his friends and what he has done for his friends and how he has help them out and it's all put behind like a very very minimalistic beak something kind of like blonde and it was it was just beautiful and I I loved it because I felt like it was deep on every single level I mean it just it just touches your soul on on so many different levels and I think that's the thing about Frank is that he he can he has so many different layers to himself that you can really start to see who he is as a person and this is where I wanted to transfer into just a, an understanding about Frank Ocean and I think that a lot of times people you know won't give Frank the chance because he might be bisexual or gay or whatnot and I feel like that's unfair because really what Frank Ocean shows us in the music industry and just as a whole is that one you can talk about anything you want to talk about and that is where I think Frank Ocean shines the most at a time where R&B or even alternative R&B was at a stale point where all it was talking about was sex women and love Frank Ocean I'm not saying doesn't talk about those things but he says it in a more poetic way he says it as if he's writing poetry he says it as if he is not even writing from the position of himself, but the position of a poet seeing the world. He's seeing things in color rather than seeing things in what it actually is. This is very prominent on the song Wither on the album Endless, where he is talking about himself as if he's a flower, but it's also a double entendre for with her and with her. Little, little elements like this is what makes Frank Ocean beautiful. Or in the song Sierra Leone, where once he starts talking to the baby, the little lullaby chimes come in. Ding, ding, ding. It's just like all these things create a world. And that's what Frank Ocean does with his music, which is why probably Kanye West supports him so much the way that he does, is that Frank Ocean, with his music, puts together such a cohesive project that feels like something that Frank Ocean loves. And one of the things that Frank Ocean loves are movies and every album seems like a movie it has a theme and you can visually see everything that's happening that's how frank ocean paints things for you he's not just an artist of our generation that is singing songs and and making people feel the songs like a lot of people don't have the same feelings frank ocean have a lot of people aren't bisexual a lot of people aren't gay a lot of people but it, he makes it so that doesn't even matter. What matters here is what Frank Ocean is saying and the feeling that Frank Ocean is giving you because that's what music is. It's all about feeling and understanding and from that feeling and understanding, we've all loved someone. We've all had unrequited love. We've all been in a situation where we, someone doesn't feel the way we feel. We've all you know, experimented with things that maybe we shouldn't have or should have. We all have some love of cars in some way or another, especially if you're like us and live in LA. Frank Ocean really embodies everything. And I think Chanel, more than any of his other songs, really put that out there and really showcase that once again, you can make these double entendres of seeing both sides like Chanel CC or seeing both sides. But anyways, that's my video. Thanks for watching, fam. My name is Andre Taylor. Please hit that like and subscribe and tell me what you think about Frank Ocean and what your favorite Frank Ocean album is in the comments down below. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.